Welcome back guys. Today I am playing Until Dawn. Now this is a basically you make the decision type horror game. There's a lot of jump scares that I know of so that being said um, I am partially excited to play this game. I've been wanting to play it for a while so let's begin Until Dawn. It. it is not her fault that she has a huge crush on Mike. Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. <sighs> just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. this weekend. Josh. Alright, so I am playing as Beth. I'm guessing Hannah's sister. Use art. Look around. Objects that glint can be in So damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even better out of it. Oh. Oh my God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Mm. I got your note. I'm glad you could make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? 
Oh my god! Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, Let's all get out of Just but... a stupid prank. Uh, oh, damn. You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! Find others, wake Josh. Wake Josh. 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 Fuck. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! What a Hannah. bunch of assholes. That's Hannah. not even funny. So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Yeah, Mike. Dick. Oh, shit. God. Ooh. Quick time event. Uh. Let's go. Ah. Uh, Safe. I'm not, I'm not. I'm in no rush. I'm not trying to break the limb here while I'm uh, saving my sister. Ah, oh, don't make me choose the path. Uh, follow footprints. Follow noise. I'll follow footprints. Oh, what if it's not her footprints though? I might have just screwed myself. Oh, it's a deer. Jesus! Fuck! Shit! I screwed myself over. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? Come on, Hannah. Where are you? Use the touchpad. Oh, that's dope. Hannah! Oh, I got a light, nice. You can, oh, you can control the light too. That's cool. Okay, yeah, right in front of me. That way I can see everything. Oh my. God damn it. L1 to walk faster, yes please. Can I run? Hello, I don't think you should be doing that while you're- Oh, wait, what's this? R2? A death totem. Alright. Alright. Just a joke. Please come back. Oh my god. What the hell, what the hell is that? <laughs> exactly. Anna. Anna. Hello? How is she not freezing to death right now? Anna. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. Of course. Every, one person is supposed to trip in this game. Why not? She just dropped her phone. I don't think it matters though. Oh, they're so screwed. It's either fall to your death or get killed by the no. fire no. breathing no. thing. I jump. No. Screw it. I ain't no. it up. I'm not helping. I'm not grabbing his hand. Screw that. 
analyst, I'm sorry. I'm so immature. The analyst. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past was last year my fault. Control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. All right, first step, move forward. There is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. Like the butterfly effect. I want you to a remember butterfly this. I want effect. you to remember yeah. this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So he's not only telling our character, he's telling us, like the viewer. Yes, it's so close to so, us, Jesus. You have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Alright. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary. Even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? I agree. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential. That you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. All right. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. I mean. Scarecrows aren't supposed to make you feel happy, so I guess uneasy. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? The scarecrow. What else would it be? Well, I see. I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel but it is there. Staying there on your own for a period of time. Say a week, for example. I mean, I mean, I guess. <laughs> huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? <sighs> Why do you have to tell me that? I don't know. Oh. All right, all right. I sense that you suffer from a significant fear of of the supernatural. What lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. Don't you agree? And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? Please remember, this is only a game. Yeah, you're gonna have to keep on telling myself well, that. Well, we seem to be out of time for this session. That was literally was three minutes, four soon. minutes. How are we out of time already? I don't understand uh, how you're trying to help me if you if we have a very limited amount of time together, and then you just walk back to your window. I don't understand at all. Whatever. I believe that was just the intro. Yeah, that was just an intro. Ooh, I like the soundtrack. Very... I don't know. It fits the, with the tone of the game. I like it. Until dawn. Oh, shit, she's from, uh, Scream 4. I don't even know she was in this game. Rami and Malek, you played in Night at the Museum? That's right.
god. I don't know, screw with bugs. Screw that. All these other actors, I don't know. Megan Martin. I don't know, that name sounds so familiar. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington Oh, they're still missing. The so they don't know they're dead. And headed out into a snowstorm. That's crazy. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. He seems um, a little too off, happy for uh, I'm super excited to welcome his sister's dying one year ago or going missing. Blackwood I don't think he knows her dad. <laughs> so um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me and I know it's Yeah, you little, seem a little bit too happy right now back after or a little too positive. what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Yeah, like party like trip. we're fucking porn we'll stars. That's a spirit, right? Josh. Yes! <laughs> oh, no, something's off about him right from the beginning. Just seemed, I mean, even though it's already been one year, it's like, I feel like he has a vengeance or, uh, his planning his own personal agenda, I guess, you know, I don't know, because it was technically our fault, the reason they died, well, it wasn't our fault, but it was the character's fault for, uh, pranking her, which led her to run off, which led her sister to go after her, which led them both to die, so, I mean, it is our fault. Blackwood Pines. Yeah, I would not be there right now. Especially not in midwinter. Crazy. I'm surprised they have bus stops over there. Look, the place looks abandoned as hell. Number one, Memento Mori. Ten hours until dawn. Oh, come on. You gotta do that to us. That's how every freaking horror movie starts. There's this crazy guy with a knife. Okay, Sam and his best friend. Diligent, considerate, adventurous. Hello? I mean... Someone there? If you're willing to travel in the middle of the night... Uh, midwinter, alone, while well, there's a crazy stalker right behind you, then yeah, I guess you are adventurous. You can use the right stick to move the camera. Okay, that's helpful. Use the, yeah, thank you. Oh, uh, okay. Next. The gate. I can't read that shit. 
the gates busted, climb over, Chris. Oh, thank you, Chris. Uh, let's go safe. We don't want to rush this. We sl oh. Oh. I'm worried I'm going to press the wrong button. Uh, climb. Oh, so many buttons. She's going to slip and fall. Alright, this is just ridiculous. Someone could co really come at us, kill it. Oh. You hungry? Huh? <laughs> so you can't move your controller at all. That was kind of. It was kind of easy because I expected it, but if you're unsure what to do next, you can see your current objective by pressing R1. Head to the, okay, that's helpful. That is very helpful. Because knowing me, I'm going to get lost a lot and not know what the hell I have to do. So, What's that, a rock? Are these the butterfly? Uh, let me see. <laughs> cool. So, death is black. Danger is red. Loss is brown. Guidance is yellow, fortune is white. So the only good ones I see are yellow and white. The rest are all bad. So that's yellow. So that's a uh, good fortune, right? Guidance totem. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on your choices you make. Press R1, and I'm good right now. Chris, you here? Bag's here, where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Ah, that's so funny. Uh, I'm not like that. Maybe I shouldn't pull out that crazy stuff. Is that good? Chris? Sam, hey, you made it. Chris has a crush on Ashley. Methodical, protective, humorous. Okay, that's something we need right now. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. Gonna blow my mind. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right, here goes. Oh, I'm playing as Chris now. Alright, let's see if I'm not terrible at this game. Ooh, look at that. I'm so slow about this. I'm sorry. Ah. Wow, nice shooting. I'm slow when it comes right. to shooting. I'm bad. I'm <laughs> 
<laughs> Chris, I'm a badass. Uh, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. I'm not gonna shoot a squirrel. Your ass just got sacked. I love Chris. Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Okay, now I'm playing as Chris. So I think I'm gonna be playing as every character in this game. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I don't know. You said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Very creepy. After you. Oh, real gentleman. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I'm guessing in here. And I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Oh. It's so beautiful in the day, but at night just feels menacing, like a sleeping giant. You gonna publish? What? Your pretty poem. The sleeping giant of Blackwood Forest. Oh, shit. Crazy place to set up house. No matter how rich you are. Yeah, right, I think our ride's here. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some disease, but okay. All right, enter the car. Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, and I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends. To this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off a train bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Boom. Butterfly effect. 